back with Austin Underground here at South by Southwest. Today we are talking with Fo Real. How are you guys doing today? Doing ground, thank you very much. What he said, doing ground, thank you very much. So one of the first things that I noticed about your show last night was that you have coordinated outfits, you have dance routines. What was the motivation behind that when creating Fo Real? Um, I think, you know, we decided to enter this whole profession as a as a duo and we thought we had to be a little bit rigorous about that and a little bit strict. We like to be strict about many things and you know this was no exception because a lot of people think music is fun but actually music is a strict environment and should be kept as such and that was the motivation behind it. Yeah of course and then um, on a related note I saw your dance routines. How much practice does that take to kind of get that coordinated and all together? Uh, 29 years so far. We have no dance background. We don't know what we're doing. So it takes a lot of work and effort for us to make it look like we know what we're doing. Yeah. I was going to say seamless, but it's not. So, um, yeah. But it's definitely part of, part of the package and something we love doing. Yeah, so I noticed a lot of, like, 80s kind of synth pop vibes from your music. Who are y'all inspired by when it comes to making music that fits your your vibe? I think our musical inspirations range far and wide. Uh, I think what inspires us for Faux Real is mostly non-musical. We try to keep a keep it in a, in a closed circuit of our own sick minds and inside jokes, and uh, and then what comes out just comes out. And it's, yeah. it's very it's very strict, but it's also out of control. Yeah, of course. So since you are brothers, does that make the music process easier or harder? Yes. Yeah, no, I, I get that I have a twin sister. You know, yeah. you know what I It's all about. about being siblings. So being French-American, how does that influence the music y'all make? Um, I think, you know, having uh, been brought up between both cultures, it, it has directly translated into being between many musical currents and cultures and not really ever belonging to a specific scene. And uh, we like this feeling of being a little bit you know, musical mutts, uh, a little bit lost and uh, forever looking for, you know, something and deciding it's not it and moving on to the next and whatever and, uh, yeah, that's it. I think that was one of the biggest influences it had. Yeah, so, um, I used to play the flute my freshman year of high school. I saw you bring out the flute. Why did y'all feel the need to, to jazz it up with, with that kind of instrument? Um, you know, we thought, we, we decided early on not to include any instruments on stage for this project, and I think it was dictated mostly by mobility, um, and I have been playing the flute for a little bit, I just taught myself uh, in the last you know, five years or whatever, and we are like, okay, I think this is the one instrument we can allow ourselves to bring because it fits in our little briefcase. And, you but know, of course, it's, it's inside my trousers. It's perfect. Yeah. But of course, it's not the one instrument we're allowed to take because we have a second instrument, which we'll be bringing out on stage shortly. Oh. Um, so I hope you're going to be able to catch that. Yeah, I, I'm excited. I do want to see the second instrument. So your first two shows were fairly small. How does it feel now transitioning to the Doc Martin stage? Uh, we're, we're ready. The question is, are they ready? I, I uh, hope they are. I hope no, they are. We like to play stages of all sizes and shapes. We don't discriminate. Uh, we always give give it our all. So we're just excited to get back on stage. It's what we love doing. And speaking of which, I think we're going to have to do that right now and go line check. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Make sure to check them out at, on their socials. This is for re is this for real? Okay. And then our socials. AustinUnderground.org, our website, and we'll see you next time. Bye.